What's up YouTube? It is so great to see you in 2021. My name is Stephanie aka Stephanie Yos. I'm a Vietnamese American vlogger from the Bay Area. I usually vlog about food, travel, and lifestyle. I have just been chilling, maxing, and relaxing all cool this holiday season. Now that the holiday season is almost over, I have been summoned yet again to YouTube to do another reaction video to Uncle Roger's latest video. So in his new video, he is cooking fried rice himself for a Michelin star chef. And if you haven't seen my reaction videos before, I do my reaction videos from a Vietnamese perspective. So I like to sprinkle in some cultural knowledge as well. Another thing is I'm the only reaction YouTuber whose hair matches Uncle Roger's iconic shirt. So join me in reacting to Uncle Roger cooking fried rice for a Michelin star chef. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Induction stove high. I don't like induction stoves, y'all. <laughs> Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger hmm, hit 3 million subscribers. Thank you to all my niece and nephew. And as Very promised, impressive. I'm gonna make my egg fire rice today. This video is sponsored by Sasa. Uncle Roger, favorite Indonesian seasoning brand. For this mm -hmm. video, Uncle Roger back at May May, where I got my first job. What What is vegan? Like, no animal products. <laughs> No animal product. <laughs> you so you go your life just eat leaf. This is Mei Mei's boss, Liz. To get my job back, I will impress you with my egg fried rice. But first, tell our viewer what is Mei Mei. Um, Mei Mei is a Singaporean coffee team. So we do Singaporean coffee tea. Mm. We specialize in Hunanese chicken rice, nice yeah. lemak, which I'm sure you're a fan of. You steal all the Malaysian food. So all that actually looks really good. I'd really be interested in going here and trying the coffee, the boba. Hainanese chicken, we do eat that in Vietnamese culture. Uh, nasi lemak, I don't know if I've ever had that before. So I'm really interested in trying that classic Singaporean dish as well. And I think it's so funny how he just hates on Singaporean culture. <laughs> Liz, I hear you have Michelin star. Is that correct? Mm. In my last restaurant, yeah, I had a Michelin star. Fuyo. How many Michelin star? One. Fuyo. Just one? Uncle Gordon have 22. Failure. <laughs> Still more than you. Oh, <laughs> I haven't Ooh, even started cooking. I ouch. already got roasted. So I'm going to be reviewing your egg fried rice, as seen as you review so many others. So I'm going to be quite harsh on you. Hiya. So much mm. pressure. Uncle Roger, not professional chef. I just home cook. Now I'm going to be judged by Michelin star chef. I'm in the same boat as Uncle Roger. I definitely don't claim to be like a professional chef. I just cook at home. But with 3 million subscribers riding on his back, I mean, he better be judged harshly. So <laughs> bring it on, Uncle Roger. Step one, throw away your chili jam. I like it. Mm -hmm. This is not Jamie Oliver cooking show. <laughs> Please, can I have one of your knives? No, no, no. This is paring knife. This is not used for chopping. This list tried to trick me. <laughs> this is more like it. Asian people, when we cook, all we need is one knife. Okay, so I think he's just trying to be humorous here, but you definitely do want to use a paring knife for things like vegetables and fruit and uh, spring onion. <laughs> but the cleaver is good for cutting meat, but definitely not for things like vegetables. First step is garlic. For one portion of egg fried rice, at least five cloves. Yeah. Asian people love garlic. We treat garlic like we treat our children. They never enough. <laughs> yeah, so both of those things are true. One, you definitely do want to start with the garlic when you are cooking egg fried rice. And number two, yeah, the kids are never enough. Yeah, and it's really sad how in Asian culture there's unobtainable expectations that our parents put on us. And I think it is a really big problem. Um, but you know, that's a video for another day. <laughs> You smash the garlic so you don't end up like K cooking. The garlic <laughs> don't run away from you. <laughs> Uncle Roger, not the best garlic chopper. But don't worry, everything look cooler in slow motion. I guess. So Liz, what you think of my chopping so far? It could be a bit finer. Well, he is using the wrong knife, so... Just complain. <laughs> garlic is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Many people complain garlic gives them bad breath. But don't worry, Uncle Roger's single, not kissing anyone anyway. That is one good part about being lonely. Nobody know you have bad breath. Now we chop shallot. Shallot is better version of onion. Nicer flavor. Don't use onion for your egg fried rice. Only poor people use onion. I do like shallot, so... And then you slice it from mm -hmm. the middle. Be careful your hands. Don't worry, hospital very close. It is. Oh. 
Uh, yeah. So I don't like the way Uncle Roger was chopping. Ideally, what you want to do whenever you're chopping something is kind of curve your fingers like this as you chop. That way, your fingertips will never touch the knife. That is the safest way to cut, just so you know. Now time for egg. Uncle Roger likes to use one full egg and one egg yolk. This is technique I learned from Malaysian chef She Sen Lian. Check out his YouTube channel. Many people say egg yolk gives you cholesterol. But Uncle Roger say cholesterol <laughs> is full of flavor. Whisk the egg. No, not with whisk. Hiya. No Asian person use whisk. We whisk egg with chopstick. What kind of Asian restaurant you run? Why you have... Yeah, when we want to whisk the eggs, we just use our chopsticks. We don't need a fancy whisk or frother, just chopsticks will do. Whisk. <laughs> you have whisk, do you also have colander? No. <laughs> Next, mm, we chop essential. spring onion. This is another classic yes. Asian ingredient. Chop away the shit you don't need. Don't throw it away, we use the stock. You use the shit you don't need? Yeah. Michelin star chef love using trash <laughs> to cook their food. Yeah, so the stock is so important because you can take the stock and put it in a cup of water and it will grow. So next time you're cutting spring onions or green onions, keep the stock, put it in a cup of water and you'll get more green onion. Save money. <laughs> Another great thing of using big knife, it can almost become a plate. <laughs> See? Wrong knife. Last thing you need to chop is chili. Uncle Roger loves spice because Uncle Roger not pussy. And of course, for egg fire rice, you have to use mm -hmm, leftover mm -hmm. rice. But this is Uncle Roger's biggest secret. It's not just any leftover rice. This is leftover chicken mm -hmm. rice. This is rice cooked with chicken stock, ginger and garlic. Full of flavor. Because you leave it overnight, now the rice is so separated. So mm -hmm. nice. Mm, this rice feels better than woman. Uncle Roger, stop touching the rice. Auntie had and left Uncle Roger too long now. This is the only time I get to touch something <laughs> moist. <laughs> I think that was one of the best jokes that he came up with in his whole series. <laughs> that was good. Sorry, children. How many rice cooker you have? Four. Four! Uncle Gordon, walk fuckboy. But Liz is rice cooker fucker. <laughs> also need soy sauce, Asian sesame oil, mm -hmm. must be Asian. And of course, we must not forget the most important ingredient, the king of flavor, Uncle Roger's white powder of choice, MSG. Mm. I find that in Vietnamese households, we tend to prefer Maggi over soy sauce. Sesame oil, also very, very important. I love adding sesame oil to almost anything, you know, salads, rice, what have you. And MSG, you know, I grew up thinking MSG was such a bad thing, but MSG does add umami to Asian dishes. So everything in moderation. Mm. Do you use MSG in your cooking now? We do now, Uncle Yay. Roger. I think you're gonna get second Michelin star soon. Uncle Roger using my favorite brand of MSG, Sasa. This mm. is from Indonesia. Uncle Roger samples so many different types of MSG and this tastes the best. This packaging will be the last of this year. Next year, they're mm. gonna improve their packaging, make it even more pretty. I see so many niece and nephew make egg fried rice with carrot or peas. Hiya! Don't use vegetable. <laughs> okay, I totally disagree. I always add vegetables to my egg fried rice. Uh, but that being said, I've never heard of Sasa. It looks interesting. I don't know if I'll necessarily buy it, but it's worth a try. Vegetable tastes like that. On to the cooking, yeah. Okay, now we start cooking. But we got one problem. <laughs> Induction stove fire. Oh no. Liz, where your fire? Where your gas stove? Well, we don't have any gas connection here, Uncle Roger, but this is not the average mm -hmm. induction for the home. This is the top of the range induction for chefs. You get a really good what hey. Uncle Roger want to work here, so I will try to use this. Uncle Roger gonna cook with this. It is metal spoon, but don't worry. Professional wok, not non-stick wok. So if you use metal spoon in this, <laughs> your mom won't come and beat you. First coat the wok with oil, and this is peanut oil because Uncle Roger loves to kill all the weak peanut oh. allergy people. Once the oil starts smoking, throw away the oil, correct so far? Yes, yes. Apart from the peanut oil thing. But... Don't use peanut oil? No, we don't use peanut oil here because we don't want to kill anyone. Oh. They're not weak to us. This is your problem. If you can't use peanut oil, vegetable mm -hmm. oil, okay also. Just don't use olive oil. This is not Jamie oil. 
Yes, very true. Do not use olive oil for cooking. Olive oil is used for garnishes like salads and things. Yeah, you want to use cooking oil when you cook stuff. Olive oil cooking show. <laughs> Spread the oil nicely around the wok. Okay, first thing in, garlic and shallot. That's right, you want to go in with garlic and shallot Fry it first. A bit until it's fragrant. Next step, egg. Mm -hmm. Stir it around when yes. it's almost all yep. solid, like this. Time for the rice. Uncle Roger never measure because Asian people, mm -hmm. when we cook, we don't measure, we just use feeling. I got, I got. Ga is the Malaysian way to say it. It a bit dry, so I put. <laughs> I've never heard the word agak agak, this is new to me, but typically when you make fried rice, which is something so customizable, you know, yeah, we don't go by portions or science, because again, egg fried rice is so easy to customize, so why not just go with whatever you feel like? A bit more oil in there. Now we add soy sauce. Just use feeling. We okay. put soy sauce in until our ancestors mm. tell us it's enough. Sesame oil. You have to flatten the rice so they don't clump mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally do flatten my fried rice. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I think it does give that unique texture to egg fried rice. So, so try it next time you make egg fried rice. And now the most important ingredient, MSG. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo! That looks like a lot. And your final garnish, spring onion and chili. Stir everything around. This induction. Yes, yes, yes. So spring onions and chilies go in last. And granted, chilies are an optional ingredient, but yes, they should go at the very last. So not bad. Uncle Roger changed my mm, mind. Nice flip. That's a good technique. Wow. Oh, not bad, Uncle Roger. Good height. You ever had a lot of Francis at tossing, huh? Oh, Uncle Roger love tossing. It's my favorite thing to do. That's why Auntie <laughs> Helen leave. And now Is this supposed to be a tossing salad joke? I don't know. Sometimes his jokes don't really make sense. <laughs> now it's ready to be served. Mm. See, so simple. Five minutes. That's all you need for Uncle Roger egg fire rice. For a home cook, not too bad. Okay. You're a little messy. But it's okay. It's okay. Professional kitchen got professional cleaner. When I cook at home, I'm more tidy because I clean myself. But at professional kitchen, you can hire people clean for you. But you're going to be cleaning this, Uncle no, Roger. No, no, no. I applying job as chef, not as cleaner. Now time for taste test. Hi, uh, Asian people, we don't eat rice with fork. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. this is better. Eat a spoon or chopstick only. Uh, sometimes I eat rice with chopsticks, but in order to get all the grains, it is best to use a spoon. <laughs> not bad, Uncle Roger. Not bad? Not a lot of MSG. Not a lot of MSG. It looks like a lot. Right amount. <laughs> No such thing as too much MSG. Sometimes we complain food too salty or food too sweet, but nobody ever <laughs> complained food too umami. Guys, hey. Oh, this guy looks so familiar. I think he is peanut allergy guy from <laughs> First May May Weijo. Why you don't want peanut? I'm allergic. Why yeah, so man. weak? So weak. Uh, you guys have anything on today? Any hot food? But have egg fried rice on the menu today. No, 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 no. It's uh -oh. got peanut oil. <laughs> Hiya. I can see why you review other people's egg fried rice. It's not bad. <laughs> it's like Uncle Roger wants to serve as Charles Darwin. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll show you how a Michelin star will cook this. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, the master work. The technique you got just right. Heat up the oil to season the wok. You just want to get it nice and smoky. Get that wok, hey. I uh, take so long. Uncle Roger finished cooking and eating <laughs> already. Instead of using oil, I'm going to use some pork fat because pork fat. yeah, I like the flavor of pork fat. You didn't tell Uncle Roger you have pork fat. That is so true. Pork fat. Oh my god. So fat and egg fried rice is a perfect marriage. I can only imagine how good that must taste. <laughs> Uncle Roger loves pork. Pig are the smartest but also delicious animals. <laughs> but you use pork fat 
Nobody have pork fat at home. They can, you can buy it. But if you're vegetarian, don't use, just use vegetable oil. Eggs going in. So are you saying vegetarian people don't deserve flavor? The rice is going in. A mei mei uh, chicken rice. Oh, MSG? Mm. Why so little? <laughs> MSG not expensive. Don't be so stingy. Use more, use more. No, no, that's enough. Hi so sauce is quite salty already. And white pepper. White pepper? Mm. Oh, Uncle Roger forgot about that ingredient. And then with mine, I got the spring onion, garlic chive and chilli. Oh, Michelin star tossing. Messy also. Hi. <laughs> Uncle Roger, I may may make uh, sambal black chan. This is the Ooh. ingredient Uncle Gordon used in his video too. Sambal's Michelin good. Star egg fried rice. Let's see how it tastes. It's a spoon this time. Yes, correct. Mmm. Mmm. This really good. <laughs> a little bit better than my version. <laughs> just a little bit. So you're saying I'm just sambal and pork lard away from being Michelin star <sighs> chef? There's a little bit more hard work in, involved in it, but yes. Uncle Roger approved. Good. I'm really curious to know how a Michelin star chef can cook such a simple dish like egg fried rice, something that almost everyone knows how to cook and just elevate it with very simple ingredients. So really curious to see how her version tastes. She's officially auntie list now. Oh, what, so we're married? <laughs> no, no, Uncle Roger don't want to marry you. I, uh, I just call you auntie list out of respect. Yeah, so it is embedded in Asian culture to call your elders um, uncle and auntie if they're not too much older than you, like if they're your parents' age. So it's it's just a very typical Asian thing to do. Okay, like I take uncle the respect. Gordon. Who wants to marry you? Hi, uh, Peanut allergy guy. <laughs> Peanut allergy guy, your husband. I didn't know that they were married. If that's true, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Plot twist. <sighs> Cooking egg fire rice, so exhausting. What do you think of my fire rice? What do you think? Not bad, Uncle Roger. For a home cook, it was pretty good. The cutting just needs to be a bit faster and what? a little tidier. Okay, what about cooking? Technique okay? Technique good. What about my <laughs> wok tossing? You can tell you've had a lot of practice at the wok tossing. So nice coming from Michelin star chef, make mm. Uncle Roger feel so special. Oh. If you in London, come to Mei Mei. Food so tasty. Hopefully you will have your egg fried rice on mm. the menu soon. <laughs> we will. Uncle Roger's Branding. egg fried rice. With my face on the box? Maybe. Ooh. To all my niece and nephew, thank you so much for your support. 3 million subscribers is insane number. Hope you keep watching. <laughs> bye bye. So everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know what you liked about today's video. I personally liked Uncle Roger's video today because I think he did the egg fried rice very well. He knew what ingredients to use, the technique to use, and the steps to take into making a good egg fried rice, unlike some other chefs we know. And please remember to like and subscribe. I have a lot more content planned for you in 2021. I think 2021 is going to be a really good year if we make it so. So that's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you